keep waiting on you. I set my alarm earlier for the other one. I'm telling her next week she's going to be better. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Inshallah, just a couple of announcements. Uh, we are glad to make an announcement that our weekend school called AIM Academy, it will be reopening for in-person instruction starting August 22nd. The registration is currently open for grades one through eight and the space is limited. So for more information, please check our website, email the weekend school or just give us a call in the office, inshallah. Also, starting today, you may have noticed we have resumed the Jumu'a shuttle. So if you happen to come here uh, in future weeks and all the parking spots are taken, you can feel free to park at the Catholic Church on Remington, just a couple blocks that way, and we'll have a van bring you, inshallah, and then take you back to your vehicle after Jumu'ah is over, inshallah. Regarding the infrastructure projects I spoke about last week, inshallah, they will be beginning tomorrow and that is the replacing of the cement on the patio and also improving the restrooms. If you look out here, when you go out, inshallah, you'll see on that side, we do have some deluxe trailers, restroom trailers. Inshallah, those will be mostly for brothers. Uh, they are for all genders, but it'll be mostly for brothers, inshallah, because we plan to keep one restroom available for sisters inside, inshallah. So we're going to begin with the men's restroom. Inshallah, once that's completed, We'll start on the women's restroom, inshallah, and the sisters, the men's restroom will become the uh, women's restroom, inshallah. If you have any questions about that, please feel free to let me know. Inshallah, let us conclude by making dua for those who are sick. Sister Farhanda Akhtar and Sister Farah Sa'ad, may Allah Ta'ala grant them shifa and forgiveness, inshallah. And also those who have passed away, our brother Maher and the Hello Jamal, may Allah Ta'ala expand his grave and fill it with light, inshallah. Jazakum Allah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Allah Akbar Allah Akbar Allah Akbar أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول حي على الصلاة حي على الفلا حي على الفلا الله
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد مَدَّ الرَّسُولُ اللَّهُ أَشْهَدُ أَنَّ مُحَمَّدَ الرَّسُولُ اللَّهُ حَيَّ عَلَى الصَّلَاةِ حي على الفلاح حي على الفلاح الله إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدًا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار We begin by praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We praise him and we ask his help and we seek his forgiveness and we seek refuge in Allah from the evil inside us and from the evil consequences of our bad actions. Whoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides, no one can misguide. And whoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala leaves to go astray, no one can guide. I testify that there is no God to be worshipped but Allah, and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is our master, our teacher, and our leader. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik alayhi wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. Alhamdulillah. 
brothers and sisters, we all heard the saying, you know, whatever, whatever you feed grows, whatever you focus on expands. If you focus on the positive, then positivity is what you're going to see. And if you focus on the negative, that's also what you're going to see. You can't think defeat and have victory. You can't think weakness and have strength. Your life is going to follow your thoughts. And so having defeated thoughts is incredibly dangerous. It can cause you to lose yourself or doubt yourself, doubt Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and doubt everybody and everything around you. Having, you know, defeated thoughts will draw in more negativity, more negativity that is making you weaker, that is draining your strength, that is draining your energy and your passion. When Musa alayhi salam left Egypt with thousands and thousands of his followers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told Musa to go towards the Holy Land. When he came close, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to Musa alayhi salam to tell people to enter the city. And Allah says in the Quran on the tongue of Musa alayhi salam, قَالَ يَا قَوْمِ دُخُلُوا الْأَرْضَ الْمُقَدَّسَةَ الَّتِي كَتَبَ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ O people, enter the holy land which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destined for you to enter and do not turn back. Otherwise, وَلَا تَرْتَدُّوا عَلَىٰ أَدْبَارِكُمْ فَتَنْقَلِبُوا خَاسِرِينَ Don't turn back, otherwise you'll be losers. The response was, قَالُوا يَا مُوسَىٰ إِنَّ فِيهَا قَوْمًا جَبَّارِينَ The first thing that those people said to Musa alayhi salam, Oh, there is a massive, powerful people who live there in the city. As if they're telling Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala something that he doesn't know. Who resides there, not really the point. The point is to follow the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But this is how they thought of themselves. That's what they fed their thoughts, negativity. Not able to, can do. They start telling each other, there's absolutely no way we're going into this city. There is no chance, it's impossible. And then they said, Ya Musa, inna lanna dkhulaha madamu fiha. We will not enter in the city as long as, as these people are there. <clears throat> So those people, brothers and sisters, they were thinking weak, defeated, limiting, fearful thoughts. And when Musa alayhi salam kept conveying the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to them, they even said to him, اِذْهَبْ أَنْتَ وَرَبُّكَ فَقَاتِلَا إِنَّا هَا هُنَا قَاعِلُونَ Why don't you and your Lord go and fight? We'll be right here waiting for you. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَقَالَ رَجُلَانِ مِنَ الَّذِينَ يَخَافُونَ أَنْعَامَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمَ دُخُلُوا عَلَيْهِمُ الْبَابِ Two men from this massive number of people, only two men came forward and they said to the rest, enter the city, go through the gate. And if you do, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you victory. If you do, you will prevail. وَعَلَى اللَّهِ فَتَوَكَّلُوا إِن كُنْتُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ And trust to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you are believers. These two men, brothers and sisters, these two men saw the same exact enemy. They saw the same exact problem, the same opposition. But the only difference is that they had a different type of thought. Those people, they weren't bigger. Those two men were not bigger in number, were not bigger than anybody else. We're not bigger in size. They didn't have more training. They didn't have more experience. The only thing they had is just a different way of thinking. A different way of thinking. The result. What was the result? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the result, the result to Musa alayhi salam. He said, فَإِنَّهَا مُحَرَّمَةٌ عَلَيْهِمْ أَرْبَعِينَ سَنَةٌ 
يتيهون في الأرض فلا تأس على القوم الكافرين. The consequence of their action, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the same city that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala command them to enter, now because of their behavior, now because of dwelling into defeated, fearful, limited thoughts, it became forbidden for them to enter. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it forbidden for them to enter the city for 40 years, during which they will be wandering in the land. Yatihuna fil ard. That is the consequence of having negative thoughts, defeated, weak, fearful thoughts, brothers and sisters. The battle is taking place in our mind. Sometimes we all have thoughts like, this is not going to change. It's impossible. Nothing going to change. There is absolutely no way out. Sometimes we have this type of thought. But instead of, instead of having those you know, weak thoughts, just turn it around. I'm not saying forget about your problem or ignore your problems, but just turn it around. Yes, I have a problem, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with me, and I'm strong inshallah. Yes, the problem is big, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is bigger. That I will do everything in my capability to overcome the problem, knowing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Inna Allah la yudhi'u ajra man ahsana, man ahsana amala. Inna Allah la yudhi'u ajra al-muhsineen. Knowing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, that He will not waste the effort of those who put the effort. Knowing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, La yukallifu Allah nafsan illa wusaha. That Allah will not give me something that I cannot handle. Knowing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Kun fayakun. Be and it is. There is absolutely nothing impossible. There is absolutely nothing impossible. And when you do, when you feed your mind this positive thoughts, wallahi, that's when the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes. That's when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provides you with powerful and, 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 and uh, powerful resources and powerful tools to overcome whatever problem that you're going through in this life. Positivity, brothers and sisters, was the way of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma said, كَانَ النَّبِيُّ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ يُحِبُّ التَّفَاؤُلُ The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was optimistic. He loved positivity. And then he said, and he never seen an evil omen. And then he said, and he liked the good name sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When Al-Hasan ibn Ali was born, he asked Ali, what are you going to name my son? He said, Harb. Imagine, Harb. Al-Hasan ibn Ali, his first name was going to be, or his name was going to be Harb, which means war. And it's, it was a common name during that time, and it just indicates power and strength. But the Prophet wasallam didn't see anything good coming out of war. He was not a that type of a person. And he said, no, my son is Hassan. My son is good. My son is beautiful. That was the way of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the way of those who followed the footsteps of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, like Sahaba companions and people who followed the companions. One of the most striking and inspiring examples is Umar ibn Abdul Aziz radiallahu anhu. Umar ibn Abdul Aziz, he was named to be the fifth righteous caliph by so many historians. Who's related to, he was the grandson of Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu an from his, from his mother's side. The righteous caliph of Banu Umayyah. One time he was sitting with his wife and he said, Ya Fatima, wallahi mashtahat nafsi ila shay'in illa nimtuha. Everything I dreamed of, everything I wished, everything that I desired, I gained. You know, I desire to marry you, and here you are, you're my wife. You know, I, I wanted to become a prince, and he became an emir, he became a prince. Myself also desired becoming a khalifa, and now here I am, I am the caliph of the Muslims. And then he said something more powerful. 
he said, وَأَمَّا الْآنِ فَوَاللَّهِ إِنَّ نَفْسِي لَتَشْتَهِي مَا هُوَ أَعْظَمُ وَأَكْبَرُ وَأَنْفَسُ مِنْ هَذَا كُلِّهِ إِنَّ نَفْسِي وَاللَّهِ لَتَشْتَهِي الْجَنَّةِ وَسَأَدْخُلُهَا بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ وَفَضْلِهِ Look at this powerful thoughts of a righteous man who trusted himself, what certainty in himself and certainty in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, as for now, myself desire something way more beneficial, superior to anything in this world. It desires Jannah. And I will enter Jannah by the grace and the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the powerful thoughts that we're talking about, brothers and sisters. Pay attention to what's going on in your mind. Be careful how you think. Don't be like the Israelites who refused to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't be like the Israelites who didn't really have trust in themselves, who had this negativity about themselves, about everything, and that led them to disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't be like the Israelites. Don't say this problem is going to defeat me, it's going to destroy me. Don't say, I, you know, I, I, I can't beat this illness, or I can't beat this problem, or I can't overcome this, this trouble. You know, I can't get my life together. I cannot achieve my, my, my dreams. And instead, be like those two men and focus in the positive. Focus in the positive. You know, when people around you are, are fearful, when people around you are negative, that's when you stand out. You stand out by being positive, by being strong. Trust yourself and trust Allah subhanahu Trust Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, إِنْ يَنْصُرْكُمُ اللَّهَ فَلَا غَالِبَ لَكُمْ If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you victory and success, then no one, no one can, can take it away from you. But victory, victory and success, brothers and sisters, have conditions. And one of those conditions is having a strong, powerful thoughts. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all, keep us all safe and healthy. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa Alhamdulillah, salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa man wala. اللهم لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم اللهم انفعنا بما علمتنا وعلمنا ما انفعنا وزدنا علما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us keep us all healthy and safe اللهم أمين May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remove negativity out of our minds and our hearts اللهم أمين Brothers and sisters Wallahi Wallahi, when you change your thoughts, when you feed yourself positive thoughts, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless you. The help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will come and you will see big change and you will see big increase and you will see abundance inshallah and a lot of blessings and favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, 15 months ago, people were saying that the pandemic is going to destroy us. Here we are together, you know, shoulder to shoulder in the masjid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to trust the plan of Allah trust the plan of Allah be patient and feed yourself positive strong thoughts أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم اللهم اغفر لنا ذنوبنا وإسرافنا في أمرنا وثبت أقدامنا وانصرنا على القوم الكافرين اللهم من ولي من أمر المسلمين أمرا فرفق بهم فرفق به ومن اشتد عليهم فاشدد عليه اللهم أمين ويسأل الله سبحانه we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to remove the pain and the suffering of anybody who's going through any type of pain. Uh, there is a young woman who's going through some difficulties. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remove her difficulties. Allahumma ameen. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless her and bless her family and bless all of you. Allahumma ameen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make our efforts worthy of appreciation, our sins forgiven, and our flaws concealed. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala show us the way to win his pleasure. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us his love 
and the love of those who love them and the love of anything and everything that will bring us close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ameen, ameen, ameen. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma asufoon. Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Inna Allah ya'mur bil adli wa l-ihsani wa ita'i dhul qurba. Wa inha anil fahshai wa al-munkari wa al-baghi. Ya'idhukum la'alakum tadakkaroon. Ithkuru Allah ya'thkurukum wa saluhu ya'atukum wa astaghfiruhu ya'gfir lakum. Wa akum as-salah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حيا للصلاة حيا على الفلاح قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله استو استو الله أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين وإذ قال موسى لقومه يا قوم اذكروا نعمة الله عليكم إذ جعل فيكم أنبياء وجعلكم ملوكا وجعلكم ملوكا وآتاكم ما لم يؤت أحدا من العالمين يا قوم ادخلوا الأرض المقدسة التي كتب الله لكم ولا ترتدوا على أدباركم فتنقلبوا خاسرين قالوا يا موسى إن فيها قوما جبارين وإنا لن ندخلها حتى حتى يخرجوا منها فإن يخرجوا منها فإنا داخلون الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا قال رجلان من الذين يخافون أنعم الله عليهم ادخلوا عليهم الباب فإذا دخلتموه فإنكم غالبون وعلى الله فتوكلوا إن كنتم مؤمنين 
قالوا يا موسى إنا لن ندخلها أبدا ما داموا فيها فاذهب أنت وربك فقاتلا إنا هاهنا قاعدون قال رب إني لا أملك إلا نفسي وأخي تفرق بيننا وبين القوم الفاسقين قال فإنها محرمة عليهم أربعين سنة يتيهون في الأرض فلا تأس على القوم الفاسقين الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمدا الله اكبر الله اكبر الله اكبر الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمه الله السلام عليكم ورحمه الله